going to test the Ultra uh, running shoe. Uh, this is a eight and a half, uh, size eight and a half. It's got a, a zero drop uh, to it, to the midsole. Um, it weighs about 8.2 ounces, so it's a very light shoe. And it's a shoe we haven't tested before. So what we'd like to do is evaluate it for you today. Uh, measure the uh, structural parameters and uh, see what we got. The shoe we're going to test is the midfoot stability. Uh, we're going to rotate the shoe along its long axis and measure the amount of resistance to that rotation. So we have about 36 inch pounds of midfoot stability. We'll place that in our mathematical model. Now we'll go to the rear foot stability. And what we're going to do is compress the um, midsole under the heel to 100 pounds. And uh, the firmer uh, it is, or the less it takes to get to that 100 pounds, the more stable the shoe is. And the more uh, depth it takes to get to that 100 pounds, the less stable. So let's go ahead with this. And we have 3.80 millimeters it took to get 100 pounds of pressure. From all indications, most of the support in this shoe is coming from the rear foot underneath the heel. But let's go on to our stability uh, index uh, schedule and see where it falls as uh, the type of shoe it should be used for. So uh, once we've measured this at 3.8 millimeters in the rear foot, we put that into our mathematical model and it has a shoe stability rating of 65.3. So let's go over to our schedule and see uh, where that shoe fits in for the type of person who should be in it. Stability chart, it would be in the lower high stability rating. The type of person that should be in that shoe is probably uh, a mild to moderate pronator. Uh, what makes this shoe different than all these other shoes in this realm is that all of these have a uh, a heel to toe ratio of, of around 10 millimeters. Also, the midfoot stability range in these shoes are a moderate to high uh, stability. This shoe that we just tested is in the minimal range for a min a moderate uh, for, um, for midfoot stability. The other thing that's different here is when we compress all these shoes, they have a positive heel to toe ratio. This one has a negative heel to toe ratio. What that tells you is that the shoe should not be used for anybody that has Achilles tendonitis, plantar fasciitis, uh, tight calf complex, or um, uh, anything that uh, they have a problem in the lower leg. So uh, overall, the shoe should be in a, a mild to moderate uh, stability. Uh, it should not be used uh, for anyone that has a tight calf complex, Achilles tendonitis, plantar fasciitis, or medial shin splints, or posterior tibial tendonitis. So if you want more information on what we do, please go to our website, www.shootutor.com.